What's going on guys? Wade with Wade's Adventures here and uh, I've got the letter. Um, hopefully you guys really enjoyed the, the storage unit yesterday. It is such a great unit. Mom's like, it's got arts and crafts. She loves those type of units. Um, but long story short, I want to go over the letter that I received, read it to you guys, and um, not only to um, you know educate you guys that sometimes your past do cross, okay? Whether you're at live auctions and the old person that owned the unit is at the auction, I've had I've seen that happen where people will start crying because their units being up for auction. Uh, me personally, I don't bid on those units unless there's like bars of gold in there, um, or you get stuff like this where you buy it online and the old occupant is waiting outside the building, you know, trying to find out who bought the unit so they can give them a letter or talk to them or see if they can get some of their items back. And um, it, it, I take zero enjoyment in taking people's items. Um, this is a modern day treasure hunting and it's just business is what it comes down to. Um, you know, if I lost my unit, um, all my stuff would be auctioned off too. So it, it is extremely tough, but the reason I want to read this letter to you is not to be drama-y. It's simply to show you guys not only from the um, uh, buyer's perspective, but also the seller's perspective. And realize that sometimes your paths do cross and you tend to be super respectful, understand where they're coming from, and I hope this letter may help you. Um, this is very rare. You don't get a lot of these. I would say out of 20 units, maybe one, but it does happen. I get this question all the time. Should I contact the um, person who lost the unit? to give some of their stuff back. That's the number one question I get a lot of times. And the question, the answer is no. And um, there's a lot of reasons why. It puts your, your family in danger. So if the, the person that um, lost the unit has family or friends that may come after you because of they think they you took their items in all reality, it was a business you know deal between you and the facility. Um, you know, sometimes it gets too messy. You know, people get emotional over their items. So there's a reason why the facilities are there. They are there for the middle person. They're there between the buyer and the seller. Um, just like, you know, God forbid if, if you got in a divorce, there would be somebody there that would be the middle person to decide to help you guys split up your items evenly, right? Um, or a judge. There's always got to be a middle person, right? And um, that's what the facilities do for you. They help you... In that regard, you know, you're the middle person, you buy the stuff, so necessarily you won't have to have contact with the person who lost it, uh, just because it gets too messy. And um, and this, there's very rare circumstances that you would um, possibly, you know, the facility, you know they're gonna throw away their stuff, and there's some military items or baby pictures. I've seen some people contact the old family, and that's understandable, I guess. But um, most cases, 99.9% .9 of the time, you want to keep yourself safe and not contact the person who owned the unit prior. So let me read you this unit, or sorry, this letter, um, just so you can get, kind of understand. Um, there is a, on the bottom, there is a uh, email address, so I'll keep that covered up. And she typed it out, which was really odd. Um, so I'll read it to you right now. So let me put you down here. And just so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. Um, I filled up the box truck and it's now just emptying it out today. So getting ready for one last unit, but don't tell Ashley one last unit. Don't tell Ashley. Okay. Are you ready? I'm trying to find a way to set you guys down here. Um, let me, I don't know if you guys have seen my house, but this is the pond right next to it. So it's kind of a cool little area, but, uh, I'll set you down right over here. Oh, man, they took that away. They had a little bench over here. Oh. All right. Right over here, actually. Okay, here we go. I know it's just dark in here, but... Okay. Ready? Hopefully you can hear me. To whomever wins my former unit at Central, uh, Central Self Storage. The items in here are almost all personal things. Creations of mine are my mother's. My fabric, costume, sewing machine, embroidery machine, some furniture, please be respectful of my coffee table. I've had it for 30 years. And and some of the stuff you guys you won't you won't uh, realize just simply because the, the videos has not come out yet. So 
I ask that you give me a chance to buy some of my items back, namely costumes, fabric, and mu music and movies. I put the music and movies in there because the vast majority of them are in sleeves or in the black books, no cases. Some do, but many not. I love the vinyl collection again, but you may get a few bucks for those. Also, my negatives from years and years of photograph. I actually gave those back, the photographs, all of them, even the negatives. The sheet music and music books won't let, won't net you much either. Um, I know this because friends of mine tried to resell some of theirs at garage sale prices. None of them moved. I know from the past experience that fabric and such doesn't resell for much above pennies on the dollar. The nicest thing in there is my piano. The, uh, that one kills me to lose. I bought it with an estate money from my dad's passing. He wanted to give me uh, back my music. Uh, in all honesty, the piano TV random furniture will likely be what you can resell and make a few more bucks. I just want the chance to make an offer on some of it before you try to resell it anywhere else. Oh, man, I got really dark. Sorry, guys. The reason this is all in storage is because I was evicted two years ago and was homeless until last October. I've been sleeping on the floor this whole time. That reminds me, can I have my mattress? My back would be internally grateful. So, um, and then she puts in, um, and then she puts in, you know, she wrote down it's all household and sewing fabric stuff. So anyways, that is the letter. Um, she says she's homeless yet it's typed up. I don't understand that part, but remember you can't assume. Um, maybe she went to the library or did something like that. So you cannot assume. Um, anyway, so that's the letter guys. Um, no, no juiciness in here. Just wanted to give respect um, to her, but also um, to uh, kind of show you guys that sometimes it gets messy and you just kind of have to make sure that you deal with it the correct way. Um, you know, you can't contact them, unfortunately. But um, good news is the flag that you guys saw, and you guys will see in later videos, I put a massive corner of stuff that she can have back. I even contacted the manager and was like, look, I know typically you don't take some of this stuff because... Um, it's not necessarily personal, um, but I would like to see if you can keep it there because she's been renting with you guys for quite a while. And um, I went ahead and convinced them to leave it all in the corner as long as it's boxed up and uh, they'll contact her again and see if she can pick it up. So I went above and beyond a little bit to make sure she's happy. Um, just feels good to do it that way. You don't have to do it that way if you buy a unit. But all right, guys, much love. Hope you enjoy this video and the next videos after that. Um, and so uh, yeah, it's uh, if you guys are thinking about buying storage units, you feel free to reach out to me via Insta, and uh, I may be able to pull up your zip codes and look at some good ones for you. So, all right, see you guys after the video. Welcome back to another show, another video. Got Ashley with me. Um, I say another video, but really, this is just an extension of this crazy big storage unit. Um, all right, so. Mom is watching the kids, guys. Remember, we only had so much room in the truck. Um, so this is it. So we're going to go through this. There's some brand new Funko Pops in there, too. Uh, but we're going to go through this, guys, and try to... we got to get it all done today, so we got to kind of hustle. But this thing is massive, so we're going <laughs> to try to be... Uh, try to get through this. It's going to be like a three-day process. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. So... I'm gonna try to get through this stuff and then work my way back. There's an echo here too. <laughs> Alright, let's see this. Alright. Oh, this is personal papers. Some of the stuff you may have already seen. Make my mess over here so things are stuck and stuff in here. Okay. So we got a bunch of records in here, guys. You've seen these on the last one. We get a lot of records in storage units. Yeah, we have like 900. Record. Okay, so we haven't gone through this stuff yet, so. Oh, crap, let's show them the piano. So, this piano is in here and it's in really good shape. I don't know how much they go for. I need to check, but it's actually massive. Um, and it looks in really good shape, so. 
it's a big one too um, and it's got its own like seat too I'm gonna keep this for Cade guys but I I think these things are not cheap um, so I'll have to check but I mean it's a nice one so and it's a pretty big you can put your own USB in there but yeah we're probably gonna keep that for Cade what do you think honey sounds good all right. All right, let's do this. Mom, this is her, Ma by the way, mom, this is, I know this is, you wish you could be here. You're watching the kids for the next part, but she's, she's like, keep all the yarn for me and keep all the yarn, keep all the yarn. So we're gonna keep all the yarn for you, mom. Okay, so a bunch of fabric guys. This will sell well at our garage sale. <laughs> Yarn. <laughs> I'm just I'm so much like her. <laughs> Thank you. All right, some you can never use oh, enough yeah. paper. Your mom just got a printer. She can use that. Yeah. Oh man, this is mom's unit. Some blankets in here. A random battery recharger. What are these things? Oh, these. What are these things? They're from IKEA. No idea. More yarn or more fabric. One thing about garage sales, guys, is fabric sells extremely well at garage sales. People love to buy fabric. There's probably, I was telling mom, there's probably about $400 worth of bins in here, just bins. Mm -hmm. You know, well. Wow. Oh, this fell. Oh, this is costumes, probably. More fabric. She maybe made her own costumes. Oh, Lucy costume wig. <laughs> smells like hair. Um, yeah, so this is all costumes looks like. <gasps> what? Air gun, or water gun, or it's, not even a it's gun. It's a prop, it's a yeah. costume prop. It's a costume prop. Okay. Let me see if I can put some of this stuff in here. You can never use enough tape. There's tape. Okay. I like the bins, stackable bins. Okay. We have a lot of costume stuff. I'm wondering if they, she did plays. Possibly. Or she made her own costumes? Yeah, but why would she need so many? What the heck? It's a furry. Maybe it's for a big costume. These were five bucks back in the day. Casual spirit shoes. I think they used all these for costume. Yep. We're gonna open up our own costume shop. I know. But look, these are pretty clean. Maybe that's what they did. Do you think? I think so. Oh. Ooh! Wow. Where's my there. gloves at? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> we can put these bad boys on. Holy crap, cow, wow. Did not expect that. No. Costume, costume, boots, knife. <laughs> like really sharp knife. Okay, that's interesting. Now you got me on my toes. Okay, a lot of boots. That's funny. So those of you who don't know, there's two acres right in the middle of town that the owner said I can put all my garage sale stuff on. So I, I'm, I'm hoping to make like a lot of money on that. Um, we'll probably do that in May. All right, sweatshirt. It smells like it's been in here a while. 
The truth is out there. It is. Oh, X Files. Yeah, I thought that's what it was from. What? Yeah. X Files. Dude, I'll sell the crap out of this thing. Wow, that's awesome. And we have a penguin. This really vintagey, oh, that, stainy. Oh, that looks perfect on you. Um, that's old. These are all vintage, except this possibly. This thing's not. And, huh. Okay, so some clothes. Let's put these roller sheets. Yeah, we got some of these. And we'll just stuff a few things in this box. Save space. I'm gonna have to get my gold finder out there and see if that's real. Box for now. It doesn't look real. Ooh, let's show you this. Get in there. Oh my gosh, this isn't even the right, the right lid. Oh, okay, yes, yeah. All right, let's check it out. Okay, it says Marvel Collections. Here we go. Ooh, Marvel Collections. What? Mm. Whoa! So we got this guy. Are you wanting to keep these, honey? Maybe. <laughs> and we have this guy. Who is this guy? I don't know. Guardians, like Star Lord. Is it Star Lord? That's what it says. Yeah. I have to see if these. This guy's worth. Then you got the. We have a little money here, who knows? Some of the comments don't go for much. Um, I'll have to uh, show the Side Hustle Network. I don't want to say how Side Hustle froze, but okay. We're going to keep this little ladder thing, so I was going we're going to need it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, guys, I spent $700, $720 on this unit. So as we're going through, know that I spent. 720. All right, we have a TV. And it looks like it's all in there, including the um, uh, remote, which is nice. Okay. Yeah, this is a big unit, guys. Holy moly. All right. More shoes. Wow, these look in really good shape. New Balance don't, uh, these guys sell, New Balance sells. Um, kind of odds and ends. Ooh, we have some Doc Martens. Nice. Yeah, ooh, look at it, they're clean. Mm -hmm. um, so they do well. Seriously, we made, we're gonna make, I think like, I think I'll make like eight grand on this unit. Not, not looking at it. I'm calling it right now, 8,000. Okay. Oh my gosh, so heavy. Man, I don't have a knife. I actually did not bring a knife, honey. But we got our stabby knife here. The one that almost drew my blood with. Everybody's like, why don't you have a knife? It's because you have millions you, of you them, but you never bring you get two That kids. looks like it's all fabric. Oh my gosh, it is all fabric. Wow. Hey, fabric sells, guys. Mm -hmm. um, I think she was like a six. Mom's like, I know she's watching this right now. I'm gonna sell it by the yard at the grill. So I told her, I was like, Mom, you're gonna be too busy to sell this at the yard. Yard sale. For all you people out there that say tag sells. Oh my gosh, it's like Christmas. What's in every single box? Penguins. Is it really? Yep. What? A penguin box? It says penguins and sights. So maybe from travel. Oh yeah. Last one was pigs. This one's penguins. Look at that. That's a Disney penguin. Oh, that might be a McDonald's. A McDonald's toy. Wow. 
they did like penguins. Um, that's all penguins. Is that how they talk? Penguins? I don't think so. <laughs> This is definitely the uh, garage sale item. Okay, do we have more penguins in here? Mm. More fabric. What? What is in there? Okay, first we have candle holder. Candle. Oh. Who is this person? I don't know. Me in the United States, Syracuse. Um, like deco art, maybe? What is this like? Huh. I'm sure there's a lot of these in here. Oh, these are from Ikea. Let's see. Is it cold to the top? Ooh, this is cold. It's cold. I don't know what kind of stone it is though. Hmm. Very interesting. Uh oh. This says books. Oh, thank God it's not books. Ooh, what do we got in here? Tools. Little suction cup things. Stud finder, a little sander, some patches, yarn, mom, <laughs> you want some yarn? Uh, some weights in here. What is this thing? What do you think? Uh, either an instrument or a tool. Oh. Ooh, what? Wow. Is this a flute? I think so, yeah. It says it was made in the United States. We're not very musically challenged. No. So. Asher was like, you want to you keep that thing? I, the only thing I know how to do is like, you guys know how to do the rock? Shh, shh, shh. No. no. <laughs> okay. Okay, look down there, honey. So it's just a lot. Those things sell at garage sales. You sell it for like three or four bucks each because people like that. Having like miscellaneous screws and stuff like that. This was a nice box, huh? Yeah. Okay. I know everybody's like, I know how to play the, the rock. <laughs> How many other people? It probably took them a second to realize what you were talking about. Yeah. All right. Now I don't trust anything any of these boxes say. It's okay, it didn't break. I'm worried because there's like a Battery. mountain above me. Batteries running off. Okay. Uh, what? Something breakable? Just everything in here. Everything. Some photos. They pack them extremely tight. Arts and crafty stuff in there. Some books. That's why it was heavy. 
some pens. We're gonna have a lot of art crafts, art, yeah. arts and crafts stuff. What do we got? Oh. This is clothes. Not that clothes are not interesting, but since this unit is so massive, I just would like to scan and see if I see anything crazy cool to show you guys. Oh, I don't know. That was the Ghostbusters. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's do another box. Okay. Come on to me. <gasps> what do we have? Is this, is this yarn? Looks like pillows. They're pillows. Those are pillows. Those are not yarn. I think you got a little too excited there for those pillows. I was trying to help, uh, I was trying to help mom out. I thought my excitement would get her more yarn. But... Fabric. Fabric. What is going on with this thing? It's a shirt, I think. Or it's a straight jacket. Okay. It smells old in here, that's for sure. What? Hockey? Is that hockey? What? Yeah. Oh. Huh? Yeah. All about getting the money back, guys. All about getting the money back. Okay. Oh my gosh. That's their bathroom. Yeah, we're not gonna go through all this. Sometimes they hide money in the bathroom. But there's a lot of stuff in here. Wow. Cat nuts. Field guy. Bathroom. Now I'm not surprised because typically typically the um, better stuff is gonna be towards the back. Because if you guys can see, um, there's no way to get in here. Like there's no, no, there's not a double door. So literally, they probably packed all the better stuff over there, and then um, you know everything else over here. That's just my take. We also have some speakers. And some more speakers. Oh, this is a Pioneer. Simple for seeing better days. Some more. They're not super high end, I don't think. But I'll just be on that one. Put these guys over here. I love those, the top. We have some clothes. Nothing too crazy. I mean, I'm gonna go through them, obviously. Old Navy. But. Is it? Nope. It's shoes. Oh, well, mostly clothes. It is hot up here. It is. <laughs> like 90 degrees in here. Um, okay, all fabric and clothes. Ashley's, Ashley's like, oh my god, it's hot. Okay. <sighs> what is that? Seems to be a theme. A lot of clothes in here, smelly clothes. Actually, they don't smell that bad. But... Okay. Should I even try to tackle? You that? have a you have a ladder. Yeah. You have to tackle it sometime. I'm trying to. Uh... Get all the tubs on this because this is gonna be like two loads. Yeah. So 
That's how a professional does it, we double fists. <laughs> Pretty much a professional than anything. You're drinking. Oh, we even double open. You guys like that? That was, just that was lame. So amazing. New attacks. Cow purse. Wow. Bugs Benny. Oh, they drew it on. <laughs> You're getting all excited. Oh my gosh. Hey, Disney, stuff like that sells. Not impressed with the first one. I don't know what that thing is. I sell a lot of leather, leather jackets. Okay. Just in tubs. Oh my gosh, you're heavy. You're so heavy. What's in here? What is in here? Nothing. Junk. No, there's gotta be something good in here. I'm trying not to show personal items because I like to keep that separate. Oh. Wow, there's some money here. Yeah. These are all. That's nice. Um. Oh wow. There's just a ton of them in there. Mom would be like freaking out right now. I've heard those scissors are so expensive. Guys, remember, mom's got her own t shirt down below. Right below the video, you can buy Grandma Ventures t shirt. Okay. For the sake of time, I want to go through this. But it's a lot of random stuff. As you can see. Oh, I'll bring this up. Oh no. Some shoes. You want some uh you want some shoes, honey? Ew. No? I don't like I don't like this one. Okay. The between the toes would bother me. Really? Does anybody else have between the two shoes? Oh, get in there! Get in there! Okay. Oh, no. Man hands. Man handling it. Okay. Oh my gosh, there's tubs for days, guys. Dude, I'm gonna have so many. What is this? What is this? It's like a huh? ship captain's outfit. I don't know. It's a full on outfit. I better not attempt that. Yeah, oh, this you're gonna. Women's. Huh. Really cool. Definitely into the scissors. Right. What is this? Oh my. Oh my. Oh, this is uh, Avatar. This is from Avatar. Are you sure? I thought yes. they were blue. No, this is from Avatar. Oh my gosh, I got the whole get up here. Can you put this on, honey? Let me see what it I don't. Like. No, no, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. yeah, you yeah, put yeah. it on. You put no, it on. It's live feed. You got to no, put it on. It's a women's. Put it on, honey. I don't know if they have live feed. Yes, they know they're fine. You're fine. Put it on. You have a hat. I can't put it on. Yes, you can. You just okay. don't want to. Alright, hold on. Right there. Let me put it on. Oh my gosh. It doesn't fit you. Oh my gosh, dude. It does not fit me. Oh. Oh, what is this? It's, it's, oh, it's a tail. Oh my gosh. Okay. Whoosh. Oh, okay. That's gross. Okay. Oh my god. More costumes or fabric? 
be a little combination of both. I'm starting to get the theme here. Maybe they're a furry. Make you hat. Yeah. I'm gonna have to go through this more in depth, you know. A lot of fabric though. This is the type of stuff that when we do have the sale, we just have in tubs. Yeah. You know? A little bear thingy. Okay. All fabric in here. Let's have that. Starting to notice a theme. Yeah. Fabric? Yeah. Same here. Oh, yeah. That's called professional right there. I don't think you need to open that. You can see what it is. <laughs> Oh, what, what, what is this thing? I don't think it's what you think it is. <laughs> I was thinking it was like a... Jacket? Yeah. Looks like it's a part of a sleeping bag. There's nothing going on down here. Oh. Okay, there's nothing going on down there. Random like jerseys. Oh, it's young. 50th? Huh. Interesting, huh? It's like fabric, fabric, jersey. <laughs> Paisley Sky. Oh, that's a Target brand. Sometimes uh, Target does collapse though, so you gotta be careful with some of the clothing. Yep. Okay. So. That's cute. Oh. I keep this. Yeah. What you guys don't know about me is your boy Wade can make some tomatoes. All right. Uh, Lots right of them. Up. Yeah. Nothing. I, mean, I had no the world's biggest tomato plants. Nothing else, but you can make. Tomatoes. I kill everything else. Fabric. Fabric. Hope you, hope everybody appreciates this video because we're like sweating. Yeah. I don't know why it's so hot up here. Like oh my gosh, we can actually see. Wow. What else we got here? Fabric. Surprise, surprise. Fabric's going to go over well. Yeah, people cool. love fabric. The ladies and the men like fabric, so I think that'll do well at the garage sale for sure. to list that on the grab sale ad oh, fabric. Yeah. Let's get over behind here. I'll put these. You want to show them over there what's left? Sure. Looks packed. That's a lot of stuff. This might be like four trips. That's a lot of stuff. This could be four trips. <laughs> four trips. <laughs> I mean, we have a big truck, but I don't yeah. know. Oh my gosh, more furries. Okay, this is men's, seven to eight. So any of you men out there that want this, <laughs> let me know. Uh, Time to go to the highest bidder. Yes. So this has been dry clean. I always like dry clean stuff. In fact, all listed on eBay with the dry cleaning on it. This is Amanda A. 
Kundart? Saks Fifth Avenue? I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Saks Fifth Avenue? Alright. Alright. I'm gonna lose like 50 pounds today. seen this. If you guys want some gold chains, I got gotcha. you. <laughs> oh, that did not yeah. Work great. That was a fail. That was a fail. Um, you got USA 1980. Um, I'll have to check and see if any of this is real. Probably not this. This looks like a best friend's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You get little magnets you can buy on Amazon. And uh, you don't put this in your purse. Oh, did we look through this one yet? No. So many tubs, I forget which one we looked through. Fabric! The last storage unit was pigs. This storage unit is fabric. It's all about the fabric. All fabric in here. Just so much fabric. Fabric? It's expensive. Oh, heck yeah. I used to make blankets. Heck expensive. yeah. I'm not worried about no fabric. I like their kitties. I'll pay for this unit plus some with this fabric. More fabric. <laughs> oh my gosh. Crazy. Crazy for you. I always like looking through t-shirts. Um, because some are vintage and they do sell well. Mm -hmm. I've Ooh, sold some old marbles. Hanks t-shirts. Um, this one's not vintage, but it's a cool one. Mm -hmm. right, let's see here. We have whatever maybe, she's maybe doing. Maybe a restaurant. Whatever she's doing. Okay. I didn't. It definitely smells like it's been in there for a while. Dude, it smells right. I love the smell. <laughs> it smells Meat right. I love the smell. Meat is murder. Oh man. Bet you that's Cookie Monster. Yep, Sesame Street. Cool. Um, that's just a, uh, what is this one? This looks like single stitch. Penguin. No, it's not single stitch. They like penguins, so I'm not mm -hmm. shocked there. Oh, uh, let's see, any good ones? Another penguin shirt. Pal's books. That's kind of a cool one. Yeah, it is. I'm going to have to use these as a sweat rag. <laughs> They're all in here, guys. What is this one? Okay. This one looks old. It is! Single stitch! Now, not all single stitches mean they're vintage, by the way, guys. So you gotta... Anyways, let's go ahead and put... Oh! Let's go through this guy. They can sell 50, 60, 100, 120 bucks for vintage old, older ones. Okay. We should probably work on getting this thing under control, huh? Yes. Uh, okay. Oh, there's my knife. And you guys have already seen the scissors. smell to it. I, yeah, I didn't smell it, so I don't want to. Mm -hmm. That was worse than the t-shirts. Oh, just some... They make their own pottery. Mm -hmm. Okay. That had a smell to it. I'm like, Ooh, yeah! Not fabric? Yeah! Not fabric! I lied. There's fabric in here. <laughs> There's fabric. Top shoes. Socks. You guys 
one would be Dorothy. Not Dorothy, right? Tops? No. Waterland? No? No. She has the red red shoes. Okay. More, probably more tap shoes. Mm hmm Made in the United States. Mom loves these things. Oh my Where gosh. Is it? It's a little, should probably give this to her. Oh. It's got a mug in there. They're not old. They just look really cool, you know? They just look really cool. <laughs> I feel like that was needed just now. Yeah. That was needed. We need a little laughter. Because right now I'm like sweating so bad. So bad. I'm sweating. Oh, does somebody, does somebody have um, some gloves? I can always use those at the shop. What are these? Oh, it's soda ash dry stuff. Little bathroom, little random stuff in here, huh? I think this is a back massager, man. Yeah. You want to massage my back? Ooh. Yeah, you're thinking for yourself, yeah, huh? No. <laughs> I'll give you a massage by Heidi. <laughs> Inside joke. Inside joke. Oh my gosh, this is heavy. Ooh, this may be promising. Maybe we're sweating over. Possibly drag clean. Old Navy, but hey, Old Navy, this older Old Navy, jean jackets, stuff like that. Anything jean jackets really in itself. A G B. California, it was, it was, um, this was dry cleaned, so, not saying that dry cleaning stuff's all expensive, but I like, uh, listening with the dry cleaning tag so I can tell people it's been cleaned. Okay, this is fabric. Alright. Oh, let's move. Oh, this thing is heavy. <laughs> I went to pick it up with one hand thinking, oh, I got this. But no, it's heavy. What is this? What thing? is it? Whoa. Whoa. Don't Whoa. Know on these. They look like they took these pictures. Possibly. Oh, they're just... Oh, it's glass down here, too. What is this? Oh, that's probably what it's heavy. Are these just picture inserts? Inserts? Oh, yeah. they are. Yeah. I bet these things are not cheap. Probably not. I'll have to check. Wow. They're big. They're big. That's awesome. I went to pick it up. And it was like, oh my. Oh my gosh. Okay, it really should work this way, but just for the hell of it, we're going to work this way. Just mix in a little small as we do this. It's a pet thing, I think, right? I don't know. Okay. That's not an exciting one. <laughs> what? Grandma Ventures! Look what you're missing out on. Look at those scissors. Man, she... She or he was, like, serious about the, uh... Scissors, huh? Like, and I'm not joking, guys. In this unit, probably $400 worth of tubs. Just in the tubs, and I spent seven hundred dollars on the whole unit. So, yeah, crazy. More. Oh, 
Oh. Okay. I am now attempting to not. Oh, you should try that hat on. Man, this is, whoa, what the heck? Oh my God, this is homemade. Yeah. But that's really cool. Okay, I don't wanna try it on too hot. <laughs> I'm sweating my butt off right now. Okay. What? Oh, Grandma's Grandma. Mm -hmm. This is a She's negative. She's waiting for these. Negative money here, cause she gets to, uh, we'll put that over here somewhere. That goes to Grandma. Oh! Is that yarn? Or is this? Yeah, that's yeah. Cool we'll bit. just give it to her. Oh, okay. Two of those. Oh my gosh. Careful. This is, this is going to be Careful. Care oh. No, this is called professional. This is professional here. I don't think you need to open these. I'll just. All yarn. Yarn. Um, more lace. I'm actually going to use these tubs. Oh yeah, we don't need to open it. Look at this. So we have spools for days. Look at this one. Wow. Spools for days. That's nice. Yeah. All right, we'll open a couple more and then we'll do a load to the truck. What is, what is this one labeled? Okay. Looks like just extra yarn. After. Yeah. I don't think she'll want that. Who she'll want that? Mm -hmm. This is the one that's labeled hemp, guys. Whoa! It is labeled hemp, right? I thought it was labeled hemp. No. It feels like hemp, maybe. It's like kind of heavy. I bet this stuff's not cheap. Hmm. I'm gonna give this to her. Yeah, she might want it. But I just don't know. I mean, oh, they had five dollars, six bucks a thing, for each one. It was six dollars. So right here was twenty bucks. Just <laughs> isn't that crazy? And people say you can't make money doing storage units. The, the, the oh, there's a few reasons why people fail storage units. One, um, they simply don't have the space. Space is a tough one because you buy one or two units and then you're done. Uh, another way that people fail is they don't have transportation. A lot of people realize that like when you rent a U-Haul Penske trucks, like those take a lot of money and you've got to get them back within a couple days or you're paying per day. Um, so vehicle transportation is a big one. Uh, cash flow is a big one because these units, look, I spent $700 on this one. If I spend $700 on another one, it's $1,400. Yes, I can make $1,400 easy on this unit, but then you got to think like how long is it going to take for, for me to sell this stuff? So cash flow is a big, a big issue too. Um, so there's a lot of th factors that go into, and, and not only that, but I guess one of the bigger ones. Some people don't like to deal with the small stuff that you do. Yeah, and the, the bigger, uh, so also you're, it's like the, uh, it's, it's, it's work. It's just yeah, straight work. It's, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Mom pointed to this and said that this was worth a lot of money. Uh, and I, I think I remember buying some of that when we were going to do dog coats. All right. Voila! Oh, I was not guessing that. It's like charcoal and paint. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're gonna. Do you want to show them the loads we got, honey? Well, we have this load over here. So we're gonna send that to the truck right now, guys. Gauge how much room we have, and then we're gonna start tackling this beast here. And then we're gonna get into the good stuff. Um, there is some good stuff. Look at all those boxes down there, man. What is in here? Got like painting stuff in there, some random thing over there. We got a lot to go through. So let's go through it right now. <laughs> 